Hi guys, welcome back to Chop's Garage. We're back onto prepping stock again, and we've got the little Renault Twingo in. This is the one that we bought that was a category N, non structurally damaged repaired, and uh, we had the pictures of it, didn't we? That showed it was just a really, really minor ding there, but because the price of the panels is so high, they didn't want to do the repair. 2015 with 60,000 miles on it. First thing I've done is swap out those horrible white wheel trims. Didn't like those at all. So I went with these ones with the black finish on them and the silver on the inside. Go along with the black, make it look a little bit meaner maybe. Then I have washed the engine bay down, cleaned and washed that down. Unfortunately the belt has started squealing again so we are going to have to sort out the alternator belt on that. I think maybe a tension has actually gone. We changed the belt, perhaps tension needs doing on that. And we're going to do a service on it as well oil filter oil air filter service and then we're going to give the exterior a polish and get onto the interior which isn't bad at all it's just the seats all need a really good clean then once done that we can do a photo shoot and get it properly up for sale i've only ever put it up for sale with one picture at the moment getting a little short on stock again now a uh, few quite a few cars went out on the weekend i didn't tell you the ibiza i told you it sold but i didn't tell you it sold to it sold to another dealer who needed a car for his nephew and told his nephew he wouldn't find a better car in the area for the money on the condition and so forth but he did buy it from me trade so the price did come down quite a lot on that one but i don't have to worry about it coming back to me at all it's just gone out the door trade put the money back in the bank with a bit of profit and uh shouldn't have any touch wood any comebacks off of it so someone come and test drove the picanto and he's coming back to me on it that one's only just been put up for sale the i10 the Kia, the Kia and the Dacia have been up for a couple of weeks now. I know in this game a couple of weeks isn't very long, but for me it is quite a long time. So they may have to come down a bit in price. The only other thing I've got to get stock ready is the silver Alfa, uh, Alfa Romeo. And then I might be able to get onto that Fiesta finally. I've had parts in the corner phrases. And for those who can be grief, the red Alfa might get onto that. So yeah, so I am looking out for more stock as always. If any of you are looking to sell, got a small car, you're looking to sell. Well, I guess I know all kinds of cars now. I've got the room, haven't I? But if you are looking for a uh, to sell a car, want a quick and simple sale, uh, give me a give me a message. Um, a lot of you say, "Oh, where can I buy your cars?" I don't know where to buy. It's all in the about me side of, of the. It's all in the about me of the um, of the YouTube channel, guys. Just go to the about page on the YouTube channel, and all my contact information is there. So yeah, if you've got something small, I'm looking for stuff no older really than 2009, 2010. Don't really want over 100,000 miles. Don't really want diesels. So small petrol cars is what I'm looking for. But if you've got some interesting stuff by my way, I may be, I may be, uh, I may be swung. Right, we'll hit the seats first because they're going to take a while to dry out. And then for the photos, they'll end up steaming the windows up. So we'll hit the seats up first, give them a hoover. And then hit them with the old faithful G101 and a soft brush and loosen and agitate the dirt in them and then use clean cloths, multiple clean cloths to pull that dirt out again. I'll probably have a hundred comments now again. You need to get a bizzle spot cleaner, but I will do it at some point, but they are mega expensive, aren't they? Unless somebody out there wants to, uh, someone from Bizzle out there wants to sponsor having one on here.
So that's Twingo all done and back in the lineup. As you can see, she looks absolutely mint now. Really, really good condition. Did all the plastics, didn't we? Did all the seats. Coming up looking really, really nice. The stuff you saw me spraying on the car was a quick detailer from Car Plan that also works as a sealant. I like it quite, it's my second favourite after Moonshine. Moonshine is my favourite because Moonshine I can use on a, a lightly dusty, lightly dirty car. It'll also lift the dirt off, clean it off in one go, get, clean it off in one go. Whereas the car plan has to only be done on clean paintwork, so you have to wash the car completely before you put it on. But it does bead up well, like the Moonshine does as well. It's just a really quick way to put a good shine on the car. So yeah, she's looking really, really good. So like I say, book for this non-cat is about five and a half, I think. Something like that, five, six, on a 2015 with 47,000 miles. Being a cat N, I'm gonna be putting this up for like 4395, 4295. So we're gonna, well over a grand saving for the sake of that little bump on that front corner. And as I always say, the cars that you're paying the 564, 574, could have well had the same damage, but just a little bit earlier on in life where the insurance company decided to fix it. Just because you're buying a car that doesn't have, isn't on the register doesn't mean it hasn't had a bump. Again, I'll say the same thing. I've never known any of my customers have their insurance affected by doing a, buying a Cat N car. I've never had any of them have their insurance affected by it. Will the insurance pay out less for an accident than for a non-cat car? Yes, but you're buying it for less than a non-cat car. So you're still whole. So, I think these represent really good value for money. I do. I will say to you again, if if you want to get the best deal on the car and you plan on keeping it for a good period of time, go and take a look at some cat ends. Because I guarantee you when they get to under three grand, no one gives a monkeys either way. So if you can buy them, you know, five, six years old with a big discount as a cat N, or even a cat S, if you can see pictures of how like, the damage was, you can make massive savings, drive it for three or four years, sell it on... Um, you know when it, when it's probably got to a price point where it's under three grand and no one will care it was a cat color just care about the condition of it and the service history that kind of thing so it's a really good way to buy cars but that's it for this video just a quick one i haven't done a, a prep video for a while just to show you the sort of effort that goes into prepping the cars i bought this private and you can see the private person like most private person didn't go anywhere near as far in getting this car cleaned up before it went up for sale and most don't that's no no dig at that person most don't but the difference in preparation between you know private person and a dealer if you went and asked for that service that um valet to be done by valeter going through and doing everything i've just done there you'd probably be looking at best part of 100 pounds i would have thought no problem at all but that's the extent we go to to prep them so thanks for watching as always catch you again soon